Hey everybody, I'm Chris Watson and welcome to this edition of the NISFA Captain's Club presented by the New York State Correctional Officers and Police Benevolent Association. Today we're at Middletown High School in Section 9 to introduce you to Sierra DiGiorgio. Now Sierra is a well-known softball standout in these parts, but it's what she did this past fall that had her grabbing all the headlines. Sports have always been a major part of Sierra DiGiorgio's life. Ever since I was little, you know, I've always been watching sports like baseball, football, ever since I was little. And I think that just got me into playing sports. When she started playing sports, it was softball that helped her form friendships that she still has today. I mean, she's got energy. I love her. Um, we started off playing Little League when we were younger and just kind of clicked there. Pitcher catcher duo. What was her nickname? Thunder and Lightning, I think. So just kind of goes off from there, but. Yeah. Who's thunder? Who's lightning? I was lightning. She was thunder. I was the catcher. Having a rocket arm on the diamond is great, but it opened doors that she wasn't expecting. Last spring, she played in the first NISFA flag football league ever held in the state, where she showed off that arm as a quarterback, turning lots of heads. I was shocked. I was like, wow. Because she threw dimes after dimes after dimes. Like, I tried throwing the football myself, and it didn't work out too well. And I knew, like, oh, yeah, I'm an offensive lineman, not a quarterback. And for her to see her throw like crazy passes and tight spots and everything was just, it was incredible. I didn't think she could throw that far or hard at least. Like, you know, like she, she's pretty good. She's good. I played quarterback because I could throw the ball pretty well. Um, I could throw it pretty far too. Like, I don't know how or why I'm able to do it, but I just am. And I liked that the quarterback is like the leader of the team. So you kind of have like control of what's going on. After getting a taste for football, Sierra was ready for the main course. 11 on 11, full contact, high school football. She started off, she played flag. And I was like, you know what, that's really cool. Like a lot of girls play flag, especially in our area. But when she came to me and she was like, you know, I want to play tackle football. I was like, you, if you think you can do it, then you can. So, I mean, you put your heart to something. So just make it happen. In my head, I'm just like, it would be crazy if I tried out for football. And you know, I posted on my Snapchat, my Instagram. I was like, hey guys, should I try out? And a lot of people said, yeah, because they had saw videos of me throwing a football. And I was just like, all right, I just kind of went for it. And while Sierra was a full go on playing tackle football, not everyone in her house was on board just yet. Do you remember her coming home and saying, Dad, I want to play football? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, I remember her coming home and I told her no. Straight out. My goal was to get her to play softball and keep going. Uh, when she came home, I told her, Told me and my wife that she was playing football. Uh, I need, I need a blank. I said like, no. Um, and then she just fought me for months. But if you know anything about teenage girls, they can be persistent. It was, it was just random. Um, I just kind of walked up to them. I was like, I can I try out for a tackle football? They, they said no right away. And it took me so long to finally convince them. I kept having to bother them and ask them. They kept shutting me down. She, she kept just being that annoying that, Dad, I want to play. Dad, I want to play. And I said, I don't want you to play. Like, bottom line was, like, if you, can, if you can pass, if you can make it through the camp that they had, um, you can do it. So the athletic director, Dave Coates, says, oh, she did good. I was like, oh, goodness. <laughs> Once she had her mom and dad on board, next was tryouts, where she impressed the coaches and made the Middletown JV team. We had one quarterback on varsity, and I was talking to the offensive coordinator, and I said, hey, who is our backup quarterback? And he said, right now, Sierra. I said, all right, well, then she needs to be up here with us. And we talked about that for a couple of days and then had a conversation with the parents and said, listen, this is what we need to do. And we didn't think it was going to happen, but it happened, and I mean, the rest is history. He calls me and goes, yeah, I think we're pulling your daughter up for, for varsity. I said, excuse me? <laughs> so I, I was like, yo, you think she's ready? And he goes, yo, the other coaches, she's, she's awesome. She's good. Quickly, Sierra went from flag football newbie to 11-on-11 11 11 tryout hopeful to junior varsity player to varsity quarterback, where the coaches 
wasted no time getting her into games. First, when I heard I was going to have a female quarterback, I didn't really think it was true. Like, I didn't really believe it. But then I seen her, I seen her throwing the ball and stuff. I was like, oh. And then she started practicing with us and warming up with the starters and stuff. I was like, oh, that's cool. Then, then when she used to throw me the ball and have, have, have my little short routes, she used to throw me the ball. It was, it was, it was great passes too, though. It was, she, she was really good. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting it. When coach told us that, you know, this is going to be our starting quarterback one day, I was actually like, like, wow, this. And when it actually happened, I was like, yo, this is like amazing. You know, like we're, we're going we're gonna to make history. When I first stepped onto the football field during a game, I, I can't even explain how I felt. Like, it was crazy to believe that it was real. It felt like a dream. She just wants to be a part of the team. Um, and she gets along with everybody. Um, there's no one that she sort of backs away from. Uh, she loves the challenge. And it's something that she fits right in with everybody. And if you didn't know, if you didn't see the ponytail sticking out of the back of the helmet, you would never know that she's a girl. Um, and she does a great job. While she will always remember the first time she stepped on the field as Middletown's starting quarterback, a more lasting memory might be the first time she got hit like a starting quarterback. When I got hit, I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. I got hit in the neck, I got hit in the arm. I got, oh my God, I got lifted up in the air. There's a picture in the air, it was crazy. <laughs> I got the pictures. <laughs> uh, it's at Cornwall um, and over there, you really couldn't see the field that well because they're, they're, they had short bleachers, but I'm jumping up and down. Um, when she got hit, she just bounced right back up. And it was funny because some of the parents looked back at me and my wife and they're like, no, she just got back up from that. She's gonna do this. I'm like, she's there. <laughs> but in true Sierra style, she popped right back up, never missed a beat. And the guys up front knew it was their job to take care of their quarter, male or female. How yeah. serious did you take that role? Very seriously, actually, you know, knowing that, you know, I we think of her as like our sister, you know, like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta protect her at all times, you know, she's family. But I remember talking to the offensive lineman, you know, I was like, she's a girl, but she's a tough person. Doesn't matter if she's a girl or she's a boy, she is tough. But our goal was always to protect her, to make her feel safe. Extremely good line, offensive line. And uh, they took it upon themselves to make sure that they were going to do everything that they could do to protect Sierra or any one of our other quarterbacks. They didn't treat it any differently. I just think when she had that huddle, those kids just wrapped their arms around her. They just took her in and protected her. And as a father, that, that was awesome. Word spread quick about what Sierra was doing in section nine. I remember people coming up to me all the time, even my Bolsa's teacher, who was from Goldshire, and I don't know how he knew. He was like, I heard you guys have a female quarterback. I'm like, yeah. And it's kind of a like, it's kind of a flex, like, you know, like, yeah, we have a female quarterback. And yeah, she can play. And it's awesome. It's a cool flex I can do. Watching her on the field, it brought tears to my eyes. Um, the biggest, the biggest day was when they, when they had their home game and our big uh, scoreboard, when the kids go on there and they're not really on anything, oh, I just broke down. I mean, I was like, that's my daughter. You know, I was like, she did it. And uh, the first day she played, it was incredible. She's doing something that's never been done in New York, a female who is a starting quarterback for a varsity football team. I think there's a lot of like difference in how people think that like, oh, females can't play in male sports or like, there's always some like head to head on it, I guess. I don't really know how to put that, but I think like, especially as a female student athlete, like if we think like, if we can put our head to it, like, we can definitely do it. I don't think that there was a time where she said, oh, I'm doing this because people might know this or because I want to be the first to do that or I want to be the first to do that. I don't think that was ever even a thought in her brain. I think that she said, oh, OK, well, coach said that I could play football as long as I don't get cut and as long as I make it to camp. So I want to try it. To be honest, don't judge the book by its cover. That, that's, that's her right there. People, I'm, I'm not going to lie, people doubted her. And always, there's always going to be doubts. And then when she proved the doubters, she set the, uh, she set the tone, and she did what we needed. So it was awesome. I'm not a person that goes, I did this, I did that. Um, I don't brag about what I did or what I do. I just kind of let it be. Sierra DiGiorgio stepped out of her comfort zone, 
tried something new, and it's led her to a place that no female student athlete in NISFA history has ever been. What she has accomplished was fantastic, and, and the recognition that she received is so well deserved. And she's a wonderful, wonderful student athlete here in Middletown. You don't really see females playing football, you know. Like it's it's cool though. I, I really like it. I like seeing you know women doing men's sports or you know just any type of sport. You know, because I think they were just here to have fun. I think parents, um, they can they can discourage their kids not to do something, but support them if they do do it. Uh, like I said in the beginning. When she came home and told us she was going to do it, me and my wife for like two months were like, no way. I think if parents, they should let their, let their kids spread their wings. Um, it's, it's their journey. We're here to support them, whether we like it or not, um, and just have their back no matter what. I got a letter from this guy from Texas. Uh, he used to be a little town football player, which I thought was pretty cool. And he wrote to me that he saw me on TV and that he just wanted to say how proud he was of me and how excited he was that they were a quarterback playing for the time. And I don't know, that just kind of made me feel good about myself. But just even that, like all the support has just been amazing. Places I would start going, oh, you and I would wear my Middletown stuff everywhere. She said, they're like, oh, wait, you are the Middletown coach? Oh, do you, you have the girl starting on your team? Yeah. That's so great. My daughter my, is playing flag football right now, and she never thought that this could happen, but now she's, she read the story, she saw the news article, and now she's like, hey, mom, did you see this? Someone else did this, so now I can do it. Don't let people tell you you can't do anything. Um, I've had some people tell me that football is a male sport and that females should be playing it. And, you know, I just ignored them, and I did my own thing. Um, but yeah, just ignore all the hate, um, do your own thing, be who you are. If you want to try something, just go for it. Now, as you saw, Fiera is only a junior and she will come back to play varsity football again next season as a senior. And according to her coach, she will have every opportunity to earn the Middletown starting quarterback job. For this edition of the NISFA Captain's Club, presented by the New York State Correctional Officers and Police Benevolent Association, I'm Chris Watson. We'll see you next time.